Good morning. It is Monday, the 18th of September. Gosh, isn't it going fast? It's going to be Christmas before we know it. Now, Paul's just gone for a walk, Jennifer's in school, and I'm about to go up the shed for two reasons. One, I've got an order to pack and it needs to go off today, so it'll go off when I go to get Jennifer. And the second thing is I've got some stuff for Christmas for Jennifer here. We've got her um, some books, a um, pair of jeans, a yo-yo, a squishy, a squishy slimy ball um, for Christmas. Some for a stocking and some for the presents, for smaller presents to open on a day as well as a big one, which is going to be like a, a, a tablet and a, a nice pair of kitty headphones. So I'm not going to show you them in case she sees this video at some point on my channel. But they're going up in the shed and I'm going up to pack an order. So let's go do that. So up in the shed and the cat's decided to join us. She always comes up here. So it's a bit dark. I've got the light on as you can see because I can't actually uh, pack my stuff outside. I've just got to try and find this bag. I've got Jennifer stuff in. I won't be a sec. Okay, so I sold this dress for next for a tenner. I always put dresses on for around 10 or 12 pounds. Depends on the make, but like for next, a tenner's fine. Probably could have got a bit more for it, but do you know what? It would have cost me at the very most a pound, if that. Probably less. Um, so I'm going to get this packed up. Then I'm going to go and uh, edit together the rest of last week's weekly vlog and crack on with some photographs for cameras and stuff. So as I said, uh, Zed's come up in the shed and she's just jumped into the bag and jumped out now of the bag I had Jennifer's stuff in. You right, Zed? What you doing? Meow. Is that right? What you doing? Meow. Meow. Come on then, out you come. I've got to be careful because otherwise I'll actually shut her in here by accident. Well, I? Where are you gone now? There you are. It is dark in here. It's, it's terrible weather today. Okay, so I've packed my item, I've shut the shed up. I made sure Zed wasn't in it because I've locked her in there before. That was frightening, that was. And I'm just upstairs now getting the files for the weekly vlog, which doesn't seem to want to copy onto the laptop. Oh, it is, it's just very slow. Um, and then I'm going to get that edited and then I'm going to go down and head for work and crack on with my um, stuff. And then, of course, I'll show you what I want to get down. I'll show you what I'm working on. And once this has been edited together, hopefully I'll be able to get it up tonight, which is nice. Now, I know that you've probably noticed that I monetized the last weekly vlog. And as I'm afraid, um, I hadn't done that in the, in the past. Because sometimes I won't because there's sometimes there's music in there. And obviously it, 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 it'll demonetize it anyway. But at the moment I need to try and get as much money in as I can from various streams. So there's this, I do Mist Play, um, I've got something called Windwalk on my phone which uh, gives you coins for every walk, you know, for every hundred steps you get a coin. You, it, I mean, for all these things you've got to do a hell of a lot of stuff to actually get any money from it. But I figure Windwalk can just run in the background, it's not costing me anything. I like playing games on my phone anyway, so if I just play the games through Mist Play, it's not, no harm, it's not costing me anything. Um, so I might as well do it like that. So, so there's that as well. Um, obviously there's the money from YouTube and of course eBay. So it's all early days yet. I've also got another blog I need to promote uh, on Blogger. And I use Blogger because it's got, uh, now got unlimited storage. There was a time when it didn't. The only problem with Blogger is to leave comments, you've got to be a member. But then if you've got a Gmail account, you remember pretty much. Um, so that is called The Diary of an Avid Reader, but there's only one post on there at the moment. So I might do that this afternoon because it's more something I do uh, in the afternoons when I'm not trying to get my eBay done. So my plan for this morning now is to um, find a roll of film, a fast one, because it's horrible weather. I've got to put batteries in my FM, my FE2, my FE2 uh, which is a, a Nikon camera, which is, it, if it works, it's worth a fair bit of money. And uh, if I can sell it, I'll get most of my auction money back from that one item. Uh, then I've got a load of other stuff to photograph in list. There's something up in the attic I've got to get down at some point this week to photograph. It's going to be a weird week. I've got a lot to do this week. Um, so tomorrow I've got to take Dad to Newport uh, for his Covid jab. Hopefully he'll be able to walk from the car park to the centre. We'll get there early. Um, I did say I'd take him for a pint afterwards if he wanted to go. And then on Thursday... In the morning I've got to go and have a blood test and my blood pressure done. Thursday afternoon I've got to ask my clinic. So as you can tell, Thursday is going to be a write-off. Wednesday and Friday are fine. Um, 
Saturday morning, it's flu jabs all round, so mine's at nine o'clock. My mum and dad's is at ten to nine, so I will be picking them up early and taking them with me when I go for mine. Paul's is at half ten, so by the time I get back, I'll have time for a quick cup of tea with mum and dad, and then it's straight back to watch Jennifer so Paul can go for his. So as you can say, it's a bit of a hectic week, really. Um, and yeah, I'm still hoping that I get hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of sales. I'm going to crack on with this and I'll see you downstairs in a bit. So here's the stuff I am going to be photographing. I've got an instruction manual in there which is for this camera which I'm just drafting. The rolls of film. I've got the Olympus OM10. I've got a Western light meter. I've got this one. And um, some mobile phones here this cannon over here with the lens on it and what I'm going to do is I'm going to get these photographs done then I'm going to try and put batteries in this one and this one to see if they're working might need to take them outside though so I'm going to crack on with that and then it's back upstairs right I've done five listings for today I've got all the photographs up on my eBay drafts for the cameras but I and, and the stuff I've I've listed I've drafted today, but I haven't put it in the right order except for for one. Um, I will probably do that tomorrow or Wednesday. Um, I've got this camera set up to test now. I want to test this. This this camera could be worth quite a bit. It is working. There's no issues with it so far. So I'm going to go out and shoot a roll of film in it, and then hopefully when I come back. Um, I'll develop that role and I can include some of the photos in the, the draft. It's a really heavy camera. It's a very good brand. It's Nikon. It's an FE2. Um, I've got the instruction manual. It's an FE rather, not an FE2. But I have got the instruction manual. But it, they, they're going for around £150-£200. So I need to make sure it works before I list it. So I'm going to take some stuff up the shed and put it away. And then I'm going to go down to Mum's to take photographs of the stuff that we bought the other day. So I'll show you that when I get there. At Mum's again, once again, I've been prevaricating, looking at my phone, having cups of tea. But this is the stuff I bought um, in Newport the other day. Um, it's a really nice uh, jumper here by Mango, which is really nice. I'll do that one first. Some, mostly it's dresses. There's a really nice checked men's fat face shirt, which is here. Um, and all these items were a pound. Um... I usually just go to the pound charity shops and see what I can find. Sometimes you get some really good stuff. So this is some nice stuff. There's a really nice um, coat by Jacques Ver. Very thick. Good brand Jacques Ver. It's an 18, which is a good size as well. So I am going to try and get this lot done. And I will be back afterwards. Okay, so this dress... As you can see, it looks really blue. With the flash, it looks it's actually purple. As you can see, it's coming up as blue. And that's the problem with my phone, it's coming up as blue. So when I use the flash on it, it comes up as the correct colour. So what I've done is I've used this camera to take pictures of it and I'll have to upload them. But it's look at this, it's stunning. Size 14, gorgeous dress from Debenhams, which obviously no longer exists, really. Tool underskirt, it's absolutely lovely. I'd wear it, unfortunately, it wouldn't fit me. Here's the Naked Maisie in the background. I have now photographed 15 items. Like I said, that dress had to be done on the camera because of getting the purple to look almost correct. So, I am hot. It's not hot, I can actually feel the chill, but I'm sweating where I've been walking around and, and doing stuff. So I've, got the, I've done 15 items, I bought 13 on Friday from the shop and I had I've still got some here to do I took about five or six items and some trousers that my dad's given me I'm gonna look through all my wardrobe because there's a lot of stuff I don't wear and I don't want so I'm just gonna get that out I've got a lot of Guinness t-shirts as well and some of them are quite small I'm never gonna get my boobs into them let's be honest they fit me once they're not fitting me at the moment and to be honest if I got down to that size I'd want to buy new stuff so they're practically they're almost vintage because they're almost 20 years old but they're not so I am now going to go downstairs and have another cup of tea and some lunch with my mum and dad. Then I'm obviously I'm going to go to the post office and pick up Jennifer. It's all good fun here, isn't it? Here we are. At home. Now Jennifer's got a nice Loyan cereal because she's a bit weird like that. Just had a jam donut with a cup of tea from Greg's. Well, not the cup of tea. The donut was from Greg's. And I'm just chilling. I'm going to do some reading in a bit. I've got had another sale and I'm going to have to go and pack that. Here's Jennifer with her jeans. You want to show everybody your jeans? 
the jeggings. Are they nice, are they? Ah. You got a pink pair as well, haven't you? Upstairs? Yeah. Yeah. Do you love your jeggings? I like these. I like my jeans. jeans. It's because they're blue and they, she loves blue, don't you? I always wanted this. I always wanted my blue jeans. See, she's a happy baby and that makes me happy. I've had another sale today, so um, I'm just having a little rest. And I'll go and pack that because it go first thing in the morning when uh, we take her to school. Uh, unless there are any more. Please give me more sales. I love it. Um, yeah, so I'm going to tell I've, I've finished reading um, Fatty Arbuckle last night by Andy Edmonds. I really enjoyed that book. It was really, really sad. Um, just simply because he did not deserve to have dropped my bookmark. It's my favourite one. Um, what happened to him? This is my favourite bookmark. I made it myself. And as you can see, it's got Michelle's books on it. Both sides. And I sent one to her as well. So there's only two of these in existence. Mine and hers. So my next three reads are uh, Sunset on the Square by Lilac Mills. Had that for a while. Uh, the Hollywood Book of Death by... Who's this by? doesn't say on the cover. That's interesting. I know there is an author. Uh, James Robert Parrish. And a very silly, a very thin Marilyn book for Marilyn of the Month, which is called Marilyn Monroe Vampire Diaries Romance by Brittany Shakespeare. So I have no idea, but it's really thin. It's probably not going to take long. Self-published piece of work. And um, yeah, so those are the next three I've got. And so I'm going to crack on and do those in a minute. I'll let you know how I get on. This evening we've had tea and I'm up the shed again because I have had a sale and I want to post it tomorrow. I sold this book for £8. It's not a lot of money but it's still a sale. I've just got to find something to pack it in now so... Um, I'll probably put it in a poly mailer wrapped in thing and then I'll try and find a box as well so I'm going to do that, I'll see you in a bit but yep, sold that book so that's the end of Monday everybody's in bed, Jennifer's sound asleep I am still trying to get this um, video edited it seems to take forever sometimes it's not long ago I'm going to read my book while I'm waiting and then get it up um what else is happening tomorrow? So tomorrow's plan of action is to obviously take Jennifer to, to school, drop the parcel off, yay. And then when I come back, I am going to photograph one item very, very quickly because it's already on the light tent. Put the light tent and that one item away and get that one item drafted. And then I'm going to be measuring as much of the clothes as I can. So I have to get to my mum's for about half past ten tomorrow because I'm taking dad to have his COVID vaccine. Then I said I'd take him for a pint if he feels up to it. I'll drop him back, have a quick cup of tea, and then come back home, see what the time is when I get back. It probably won't be that late. And I shall either carry on where I was or just chill out, depending on what time it is. It's a bit of a uh, wasted day, really, but I can get some measuring done. If I can get the measuring done, or most of it done, I'll be well happy. So that's it for tonight. I will see you tomorrow. Morning! It is Tuesday the 19th and I'm about to do some measuring. I've just photographed one item that Paul found out for me from his book collection. Um, yeah, so I'm going to do some measuring and then I'm going to go to my mum and dad's, take my dad to the Covid centre in Newport. It's absolutely hammering down, it's horrible, it's cold, it's wet. Feels more like November than September, doesn't it babe? Mm. So the cat's been jumping around trying to get on everything but uh, Bless it a lot. So, go crack on. See you in a bit. Okay, so I've now measured everything and I've put it away in their various boxes in the shed. So that's done. The boxes are filling up now. I need sales to start coming in so I can empty some of them. <coughs> Though some of them, such as tea, is actually really empty. So I've got plenty of space. Okay, is quite empty. I've got plenty of space for more but obviously I want the sales to come in I want to sell stuff not be I don't want to be just storing it in my shed oh well hopefully hopefully it is hard going so now I'm going to go back in the house I'm going to go upstairs get my laptop go into the office I'm thirsty 
and get the drafts ready to list. So they're not ready to list, but they are there. I've just got to put all the details in, condition, all that. Add the various items to my spreadsheet and off we go. So it's never ending. I'm hoping to get there. I, I did have a sale. I reposted it this morning, so which was a guitar book. So I guess I'll sell anything. in a bit. I don't know who's got to read her book again. It's got to go back to school tomorrow. It's called Why Cats Hunt at Night. You gonna come and read it? Yeah? Come up here then, sit with mummy. I'm filming you at the moment. I won't film more. Come on. No, she reads it to us so we help her with the words, don't we? There we go. Okay, right, turn that off for a minute. Put that on pause. Right, turn it over. She's a pretty girl. Why cats hunt at night? Go on then. Um, hunted. Hunted. Hey, old poison. Hunted in the day. Day. The Same as that one. Hunted. hunted. Mice. Mice. Uh, um, What's that there? Birds and frogs. So Jennifer's finished reading her book and she really, really enjoyed it. She gave it 10 out of 10. She liked the story because it was about a cat. There were some big words in there as well, like hunted and hungry, wasn't there? Yeah. And she did very, very well. She's recognising words like mice and frogs. Oh look, she's got a skateboard. She's been playing with it in the house. I, 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 I know how to use my skateboard. Well, maybe on the weekend, if it's not raining, we'll go out on the skateboard and you can show everybody. What do you think? Yeah, yeah. No, not there, Jen. It's too messy over there. Because, because, I, because, was, because I was doing it because I wanted to practice it. And, and, and when I go off the table, I just did it. Yeah, you did, didn't you? Yeah. I'm not going to show them over there, Jen. It's too messy. <laughs> we'll show them again. Go on in. Oh, that's it. Woo! You just fell into frame. Space. Yeah, you, you need to practice somewhere where there's lots of space, and we will try and do that if it's not raining soon, okay? Yeah. So I'm going to colour my Play picture sports here. Not sports day. It's PE day. It's not sports day. It's not a competition. It's confusing. But yeah, I'm colouring this one in at the moment. Hi everybody, it's Wednesday. Now, all the plans went out of the window today because I didn't sleep last night, so I went back to bed when I got back from Jen. That's the only thing about being, you know, doing this eBay thing is I had enough listings ready not to have to worry about actually doing work today. I might do a bit this afternoon when she's home. I was so tired. I went to bed, I thought, I'll get up at half ten, or ten o'clock, half ten, and do something then. But I just slept right through, so... Cause I, didn't, I did not sleep last night so I was really tired um, I've got some cameras down here to look at I might try and sort some of that out this afternoon get it ready for photographing, photograph it tomorrow um, and then I can draft it uh, while I'm waiting for my blood pressure tomorrow because tomorrow I've got to go to the doctors twice once in the morning for my blood pressure and in the afternoon for a asthma review so I'm just uh, chilling out at the moment um, got a Two hours before it's Jennifer's kick out time, just over. So I'm just, I might do a bit of colouring. I'm just not feeling colouring right now. I, I colour every now and again when I feel like it, but I want to try and do a video. So now I've slept, we go to bed really early, and that might be part of the issue is that I'm not tired enough. So if Paul wants to go to bed early tonight, I'll let him go up and I'm going to film a video for you. So you will have seen that by this time. As fingers crossed, that's what's going to happen. But I'm just going to chill out and relax and um, hope Jennifer's right. By the way, the weather is atrocious. It's horrible. It's been hammering it down all day, which isn't helping. I'm telling you, it's not helping at all. So I've um, been thinking about December. No, we're in September. So we are in the Burr months. So we are getting there. Now it's a long way off. But I'm thinking now I'm working for myself. I mean, I might take a part-time bar job if I can get one for some extra money over Christmas. That's another story. How would you like me to do Vlogmas this year? So Vlogmas starts on December the 1st and ends on Christmas Eve. I mean, it wouldn't for me. I'd carry it out, you know. 
And basically what you do is you post a short video every day. So rather than doing a weekly vlog, which is like 40, 45 minutes long, maybe have a, a vlog every day. Um, what do you think of that? Obviously we'll have Jennifer in school, but we might take her out places as well if we can. So let me know what you think. Do you want a... a a weekly vlog in December or would you like me to do vlogmas and do a a, a video every day which may be 10-15 minutes let me know I mean the one thing about doing vlogmas is I can update you on colouring pages and books I'm reading a little bit more as I do it um, as well as everything else the only thing I say is we don't put up a lot of decorations on our house because the cat just tears them down we will try again this year um, but we'll have to move a lot of stuff out so Jennifer's got so many toys. Um, so generally we don't put a tree up just simply because the cat um, knocks all the balls off of it and pulls all the tinsel off of it and Dimmy sits up there like she owns the place. But uh, we will try and put some sort of decoration up. Let me know what you think. If you think you should do Vlogmas, let me know. Or if you'd rather have the weekly vlog continue, we can do that. It's up to you. So that's what I was thinking about. I'm going back to my colouring now. It's Wednesday evening. I have had a sale, so I've packed that up. It's just a, um, a top. I've had a couple of bids on some rolls of film I've put up and I'm just scanning some of my photos from the set of photos I took for the um, OM10 to see if they're what they come out like. So they're looking all right. They're very, very grainy, but that's because of the way I did it. Um, so I'm going to go and scan those in. So I'll see you in a bit. So as you can tell, I'm in the shed. This is the second time tonight I've been at the shed because I've had two sales. So the first sale I did pack earlier and I've got something in my shoe while my slip up. Let me just get rid of it. And then I had another sale come through and because the way I've got it set up is I'll set it, send it off same day if paid for by 10 a.m. So of course, yes, I could leave it till tomorrow, but then I... I'd rather get it set off first thing in the morning because if I don't have any sales and I don't have to go to the post office tomorrow afternoon uh, when I take Jen, pick Jen up. This way, we'll take Jennifer to school and then we'll stop at the post office and drop it off um, for them to do before they open. A lot of resellers do that, it's not a problem at all. So I'm up here, gonna pull that one, get it set. So slowly things are picking up. Fingers crossed it keeps like this. I really want this to work. So Wednesday night, I've just come up to bed. Paul's washing on a programme downstairs, but he'll be up in a minute. It's only five minutes left. Jen is so sound asleep. My other item's packed up. I'm going to curl up and read a bit of this. I've just started reading this book, Sunset in the Square by Lilac Mills. It's actually set in one of my favourite places. It's set on the island of Tenerife, which is where I'd love to retire to. So I am going to curl up and read a bit of that for, a while, for now. I'm tired. Yeah, some sleep. Now, the plan for tomorrow is to do what I was going to do today, which is sort out the. There's some cameras downstairs that um, I can list. I don't need to test because they are for display, spares, and repairs, props, which will be completely stated. So, things that you can't get filmed for, basically. Some of them need a bit of a clear up. Um, there's a digital camera there that I have tested. It's not worth a lot, but it's it's. It can go. It can be. It works. And there's a few others that I want to get out and have a look and a fiddle and a test with and try and get them done. At least I've had two sales today, which is good. I've also got to update my accounts. But at half eleven tomorrow, I've got to go to the doctors to have my blood pressure taken and have some blood tests. And then I shall come back home and do a bit more. I'll probably do my accounts. And then tomorrow afternoon, I've got to go for my asthma review. And I'm hoping it's not going to be too long because I've also got to get Jennifer from school not long after it, so fingers crossed. Um, it won't take too long. But I'm going to get into bed. I've got a colouring book here. I might do a little bit of that. But I'm really tired, so I'll see you in the morning. It's Thursday morning. I've done some stuff, sorted some stuff out, tested some stuff um, to be photographed camera-wise. Uh, so... I'm not doing that at the moment. I'm having a break. Paul's in a meeting. So I'm just sitting here watching telly at the moment. But I've got to go to the doctor's in a bit. Then I'm going to go and visit my mum and dad. Then I'm going to come back. I have to take something up in the attic and bring something down that needs to be photographed. It's up there. So I'm going to do that. And then tomorrow morning, I'm going to photograph all that stuff. Now, Jennifer wants to put the tower on Saturday. We're all having our flu jabs. So I'm thinking, yeah, maybe 
we could go up the tower and I can go into ten of us and I'll do it while they're having a McDonald's because she likes to play on the, the tablets in McDonald's. So I'm thinking, because she gets bored in, in the, the charity shops. Because, yeah, I've got tons of stuff to list, but with cameras I like to test them. So one camera I can't get the bottom off, so we're just going to sell it as spares and repairs. It has got a lens on it, I'm actually going to take that lens off and sell it separately. Because the lens will probably be worth more on its own. There's always ways around it. The one thing I hate is people that leave batteries in things. So if you've ever got anything, don't leave a battery in it. The reason being is that um, you leave them, and we all do it, leave it for too long, they corrode, they leak, and they ruin the contacts. Now, some of the times you can repair them uh, by cleaning them, but some of these contacts and cameras and flashes is so fiddly, it's just too difficult to get in there and clean them out. And it's just a faff trying to sort stuff out so I'm actually just um, I'm gonna have a little drink and get ready to go to the doctors to have my bloods done today and my blood pressure and I gotta go back this afternoon at two o'clock for asthma review and I hope she's not gonna be running late because I've got to go and get Jen <laughs> to be fair I'm hardly using my puffer at the moment I used it this morning I was a bit wheezy this morning or in the night but other than that I don't use it very much it's on, the, on a big table at the moment so yeah, I've got a Bush tape personal stereo. It works, there's some, you know, some of the chromes come off of it or some of them. But that's fine, I'll sell it, I'll try and sell it. Anyway, I'm gonna watch another video and uh, see what's going on. Thursday afternoon, I've been to the doctors, sort of load of cameras, I've been to the doctors now. Um, they're gonna up my blood pressure dosage. And I take the blood test, I've got a nice little blaster there, I'll take that off in a bit. But I'm home now, I've been to see my mum and dad, I had something to eat. I'm just going to chill out for a bit and before I go and get Jen. And go to the doctors again for my asthma review. I'm practically living down there, I'll go again on Saturday. <laughs> with a flu jab. I'll take my mum, I could have had mine today, but i got to take mum's, any mum, my mum and dad. So I might as well just have it done then. So it's pretty much the same time. <sighs> okay. Right, I'm going to do some colouring. I'm colouring in Bewitched, which is the Halloween special for your relaxed with art. I'm doing the cover page. So I'm going to do a bit more of that while I wait to go out. I'll let you see you later. Here we are. It's Thursday evening. We're watching Fixies on YouTube and colouring, aren't we? Are you colouring? What are you colouring? An elephant. A squishmallow elephant. You got my picture. Hang on then, let me turn it round. Go. Very nice. So yes, we're having a little colouring session before bed, aren't we, Jen? So yeah, it's all nice. Had another sale today. Got some bids on a, some rolls of film. That's all good. That's all right. Good morning. It is Friday, 22nd, I think, of September. I'm not sure. Just did another TikTok update on the house at Brentwood because uh, there's some funky things going on around there. So just go over to there and check it out. That's uh, Marilyn and me. Oh, tired. Every time I put the camera on, I start yawning at you. I do apologise. Um, I don't want that. I am here to do some photos of some of this stuff. Not all of it, but some of it. Not that one. That one's mine. Paul's dad gave me that one. It's got a roll of film in it. I haven't finished yet, so that one's mine. But uh, the other ones, the others are getting listed so and drafted, so I'm going to get on with that this morning. Once I've photographed this, put it in a bag to go up to the shed, I'm going to make a colouring chat video because it's time. And yeah, I'm looking forward to that. The cat has been sitting on my Prisma colours and knocking all the pencils out of the case, which is not good. But yeah, so I'm going to just crack on with this. Can you tell I don't really want to do it this morning? <laughs> I'm going to though. It'll take me 10, 15 minutes and then I can crack on with some colouring, which I'm looking forward to. I need to go sourcing. I've got a load of t Guinness t-shirts upstairs. One of them's really rare as well, so I'm going to pull that out and get them listed. I might do that after I've done the colouring chat. Anyway, I'm going to get on so I can get on with my colouring chat and I'll see you later. Done some colouring, finished the picture. Um, 
now just waiting for me dad. I'm gonna go take my shopping before we pick up Jen. I will have some lunch as well, I'm starving. It's quite a nice day today. I've got my sunglasses on, sun's shining, the sky's blue, there's a few clouds, but they're nice clouds, and a few grey ones, but still, it's really nice. Nice day. It's Saturday morning. Here's Jennifer. Do you want to, them? Do you want to show me a picture? Where's your squishmallow? There it is. This is Jennifer's picture that she did. It's really pretty. It's a squishmallow. Oh, sorry, I watch TV. So I've been up early this morning because took my mum and dad down to the doctors to have their flu jab. I've had mine. Paul's just gone to have his now. Don't know what we're doing the rest of the day. I haven't decided yet. I've had, I've got three items to pack ready to go off Monday, so that's good. Sales are coming in now a little bit, so I'm happy with that. So just see what happens. I'm just playing games on my phone while I'm chilling, having a cup of tea. I'm going to eat you, Jen. the rice. Uh, yeah, have another rice, because it's always nice to have Keema lots of rice. rice. Yeah, Kima. Yeah. Here's Jennifer. We've yeah, sort of trying to order a curry. It's a bit difficult. Yeah, we're... because Daddy mixed it up. He made well. a mistake, which is human. Everybody makes mistakes. And we're all a bit drunk because we've been up the pub, haven't we? Mm -hmm. You're not drunk, though. Um, You've been playing with I am people, tired. haven't you? Are you tired? Are you yeah. I'll put telly on in a minute for you, all right, baby? <laughs> Right. We've put the, got the heated blanket on, haven't we? Yeah, it's super, it's super is it warm, warm enough for you now? Is it warming up? Yes, yeah, it's yeah. warming. Warming up now? My feet is warm. Because it is, it is September and the temperature's dropping, but I don't want to put the heating on yet because we're trying to save some money, I aren't we? My nose is running. Your nose is running. You have a bit of a cold, don't you? Yeah, it's too cold outside. Yeah, well, we're inside now in the warm. Could you get me tissue? Yeah, I'll get your tissue in a minute. And we'll have a nice warm curry. That'll warm you up, won't it? Yeah. Mm. I to my nose red. Oh, that's an expensive delivery today, but never mind, go uh, manage. Uh, um, yeah, so yeah. we're just busy. Um, mm. Just got back from the pub and ordering a curry. Mm. We just about got it now, haven't we? Mm. Hopefully, it won't be too long apart. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Have a look. You've ordered it? I don't know. Ah, let's have a look. Mm. Gold. Not just I don't eat. Want to order it again. You ordered it from Just Eat, did you? Yeah. The extra bit, yeah? If you do one or two, if you do that, it will make three. It won't even go into it. I don't know why. Mind you, I've only got 3% battery now. 3%? 33. Oh, sorry, no, wait, wait. So, you're right, Jen. Yeah. You have Daddy the remote control. Daddy, put it all on for you, okay? Okay. And I'll, I'll have a look at this now. And then you can give me a tissue? Yeah, they're in the box there, darling, with the other things, all right? Yeah. So it's been a very busy day. I've had lots of sales. I've had five sales, actually. I'm very happy with that. So, yay! Fingers crossed I keep selling more stuff. Hey, everybody. It is Sunday morning. Well, Sunday afternoon. We're about to go shopping, which I'm not looking forward to. And then I have got a lot of sales to pack. Well, for me, it's a lot. I had seven sales from Friday to this morning. One buyer bought two items so that's easy to sort out so it's only actually six packages so gonna get them packed up put some money on my drop and go account ready for the morning and then obviously if anything happens this afternoon I'll add them to it so happy days it's Sunday afternoon I know I never vlog much on Sunday and that's fine um, so what I'm gonna do is I've got a full loads of washing to put away because I haven't done it in the week it's my fault um, I've had eight sales now I'm just waiting for payment on one um, and uh, which is seven parcels. I've got to update my drop and go before I do it by a good amount, I think. I'm 25 quid to do it actually because there's about 16, 18 on there, I think. Well, I'll check it. But I'm now going to. I'm melting. I've got a fan on, I'm that hot, and yeah, it's not that hot out there because I've been rushing around doing stuff. So yeah, all the shopping's done, put away. Um, I am now going, like I said, I'm going to do the washing. I have got a pack at my items, but I'm feeling really tired, so I'm probably just going to do it tomorrow morning, because I've got nothing to do first thing in the morning when I get up. Um, like I would, normally I'd be measuring and stuff, so I thought I'll just pack my orders then, and I can take them down to the post office when I go and get Jennifer at 3 o'clock, so it's not a big deal, just go down a little bit earlier. And then I'll go to my mum's to do some photographs on some stuff of mine. I'm going to go through my wardrobe in a bit as well. I need to bring a bag up for that lot. And yeah, and then Tuesday, um, first thing I will measure what I photograph tomorrow, or most of it. 
and then I think I'll go into town and have a quick look around some of the shops to see what I can get that is saleable um, clothing wise. I have got some batteries now to test another camera so I'll sort out a few more cameras now to, to stuff to test and, and um, list. Uh, yeah, it's, been, it's gone well this weekend. It's been a very good weekend to be fair. So I'm going to crack on with this uh, washing. I'm going to put the telly on for a bit and I'll see you later. Sunday night, another week over. I haven't packed my stock yet. I said, I'm going to do it in the morning. Everybody's going to bed. Why I yawn every time I switch the damn camera on, I don't know. Even the cat's up here in bed, aren't you, Zed? You won't be able to see it's too dark, but let's see. She's just there somewhere. Yeah, it's far too dark, you can't see her. But she's definitely there. So, yep, yeah, that's this week over with. We're going to do it all again tomorrow. Um, I've got some of my clothes out of the wardrobe that I don't wear that I'm going to sell because they're in really good condition. Um, so tomorrow's plan is obviously take Jennifer to school, pack stock, go to mum and photograph as much as I can, get Jen, well, drop the parcels off at the shop, then go and see if I can get Paul's prescription and then go and pick Jen up from school. Come home and chill. That's tomorrow's plan. <gasps> Tuesday's plan is to start drafting and listing and measuring those items I'm photographing tomorrow. And then I might go around 10 o'clock into town for a couple of hours just to have a look around one of the charity shops. But that's it for this week. I will see you all again and we'll do it again next week. Bye guys.